It finally happened! Unity Studio. It took a while to have this on the browser, but here we are, finally. You can create a draft here, and of course you can select the scene in the same way you would do with the Unity Editor on the desktop application. For example, an empty scene, and here you can give it a name. One, you create a new project, and it will create the scene. Create. So I'm using Chrome as browser right now, but you can also use something else. And this is a beta version, meaning that it is a preview of the application. And here you get some tool tips. But basically, you have the 3D scene. And with the middle button of your mouse, you can move around. You can see the hierarchy here. So you have a camera, a plane, directional light, a UI canvas for the user interface elements and animation director so here you can see the timeline if you look at the bottom here you can import assets there are some standard ones for example you can drag and drop a cube over here and you will find it in the hierarchy on the left and you can play around with the transformation for example, you can um, change the position, so you have three axes, X, Y, and Z, and you can basically directly move it from here, or you can use the user interface here to move it. You can also rotate it, so like this, and scale it. And you can do, of course, the same directly from here. So rotation here can be this. And scaling, we make it back to uniform. You also have other properties here, like a collider. If you if you know gaming, you know what it is. You have physics properties. For example, use gravity. And you have the material that you can change. For example, from here, you can change the color to red or blue or yellow. You can make it transparent or opaque. And you can uh, choose also if you want it metallic or not, the smoothness and other properties. You have also other basic shapes like uh, capsule, sphere, and you also have um, user interface elements. You have a plane, uh, text, and so on. And you can also import your own asset. For example, I can drag and drop an FBX. Okay. Not drag and drop, but I can click on import assets. And I can click add. Now here I can drag and drop and upload so i'm trying to import a 3d model in file format fbx and let's see it doesn't have the colors um, materials are pretty basic but let's see anyway what what is the result The size is 52.3 megabytes, just for you as a reference. Okay, we made it. So here is the training model. Import. All right, so it finished importing it. You will find it here.
and you can drag and drop it into the hierarchy. So here it is. It's probably a bit heavy because it takes a while. And let's hide these elements or at least move them. So I will move this here. And this one, I will also move it. And by the way, you can also hide them. For example, here there is a checkbox. And if you uncheck, it will hide it. It's still in the hierarchy, but you won't see it in the 3D view. So now we have it here. We cannot play around that much with the materials because it's pretty much the hierarchy is compressed here, but you can select different materials here. So here can be more gray, for example, this resemble a little bit. And you can copy the hex code. And for example, add it in the other elements. Like here. Um, okay, let me copy it from here. Okay, 128 on everything. So we go here, 128. Let's copy this. Okay, it doesn't work the copy and paste, and that's why it was not working. So you do like this. Okay, clearly as we can see, not everything works properly in this in this Unity editor. So the copy and paste doesn't work. And even though I try to change this, it doesn't work from here. So I have to manually select it from the colors here, which is not the best option. But okay. Then you have, um, I'm not sure if this is the screen, but we can try to do the same also for the other. And here I didn't spend much time preparing the 3D models I had, but if someone has plenty of time, they can do it. All right, so you can import your own 3D model here. And what else can you do? You can add some primitives if you click with the right button of your mouse here. We already tried to add some. You can add a UI element or an empty object. If you click on the UI canvas here, you can create, for example, text and you can decide here what's the content of the text and you can also move it you can decide to put it on the left or in the center you have a grid here so it's pretty intuitive or you can move it up well this is on the right Move it up like this. And so on. You can also change the style so you can make it bold. Caps. You can change the size directly from here and you can also change the color. So this is for fast prototyping, but of course, if you want to do something more complex, the editor application is probably the best solution. Here you can change the light with the intensity. It can be a lot of light, or it can be something more um, mild. Usually one works pretty well. You can also change the color. For example, this one is more blue. Or you can have something more 
uh, white. The plane is usually the, the floor, let's say, and you can have it also of different colors over here and uh, you can make it transparent even though it doesn't work very well. And you can make it smooth or less smooth here. You can make it metallic. And you can also select the specularity. You can also adjust the position of the camera. Which, by the way, you can... Oops, I selected too many things. Which, by the way, you can see here. So in preview, you can see a preview of what the camera sees. So if you move it back, you will see the laptops. And if you move, move it here, of course, there's nothing in front of the camera. But eventually you can move it here and rotate it on the opposite side. And here we go. Now you will see the two laptops. And you can also change position. For example, you can move it up and rotate here to capture both of them from above. There is also a section with logic. I won't cover that for this video, but just for you to know. And that's it. That was a preview, a very quick preview, high level for the Unity Studio beta version. See you in another video. Bye.